guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Madhu here, and you are at my channel, Frozen Nurseries. So it's been a long while since I uploaded. I'm really sorry, guys. I have been a bit busy and also going through some problems in my life. So yeah, I didn't want to like uh, film during those times because I didn't feel confident enough. So yeah, anyways, I'm back here with a new video, and this is going to be my December TBR or Merry Bookmas Readathon TBR. So this readathon, this month-long readathon, is hosted by. Uh, Melanie and Clint and these both are amazing booktubers. I'll link their channels down below Please check them out and subscribe to them. They are such amazing booktubers I'm sure you guys would have already subscribed to them and also this is um, as I told you guys This is a month-long readathon from December 1st to 31st and it's themed around reading cozy Christmassy books So yeah, all these prompts are lyrics from Christmas songs so it just adds to the Christmas -y feel to this readathon and yeah I'm really excited to participate in this readathon if you guys haven't heard about it I linked down uh, uh, Melanie's announcement video so yeah please check that, that out because it's so creative the whole video is so creative and she has made she has taken a lot of effort to make that make the uh, make that amazing video so please check that out i won't be creative i'll be just doing this tbr so yeah don't expect much from me but anyways without further let's get into the video so the first prompt is patrick in a pear tree read a book with bird or fruit on the cover so for that i'll be reading dream thieves by maggie steelwater it's the second book in the raven cycle quartet just recently i read the first book which is raven boys and loved it it's amazing and i gave it a five stars i couldn't give any lesser all those cozy vibes you get from that book it's so good and all those characters i've been so attached to these characters it's been quite a few days since i read the first book and still i can't i can't get over the characters i always think about these characters and i always I, i'm wishing to like read the next book but i don't own it right now i'll read it from a tab somehow i don't know but still i'll read it and i'm so excited to get into this book and the next prompt is Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. Read a red book. So all of these, all of the books in the in my TBR contain red on the cover. So I'll be doubling it up with any of these books. So yeah. The next prompt is last book must give an author a second chance. So I guess one year before, I'm not sure. I read a book by Haruki Murakami named Norwegian Wood. I liked it. I gave it a three stars. It was a good book, and I, I I was not much into the author, but still I liked the book. And yeah, but there are some aspects aspects which I didn't like, but still, I like the book. But then I never picked up any other of his books. I own one, which I'm going to talk about right now, but I didn't pick up any of his books. I didn't feel interested in doing so. But right now, when I saw this prompt, I was like, okay, why can't I pick up his book? Because technically, somehow, I'm going, I'm going to give him a second chance. I have no idea how, but yeah, this logic works over here. So the, the next book is... 1Q84 by Haruki Murakami. So this is a bind up of the all, all, all three books, the whole trilogy. So I'll be reading only the first book because, of course, I can't read this whole chunk in this one hour, one, one month read -up. I can, but I won't because I have quite a few books, few books, and I'm a very slow reader. So yeah, I'll be just reading you guys, uh, reading guys out the blurb. So this is the real world. There's no doubt about that. But in this world, there are two moons in the sky. In this world, the fate of two people, T E N G O, Tengo, Tendo, I don't know, and A O M A M A, Ao Mame, okay, I'm messing this up, are closely intertwined. They are each in their own way doing something very dangerous, and in this world, there seems no way to save them both. Something extraordinary is starting. So, very vague blurb, so that's why I was just going to read that out to you guys because I don't understand anything really. And also, I have heard that there's um, parallel worlds, parallel universe in this, I'm not sure, or time travel, I don't know, I'm not sure what I heard, I guess either time travel or parallel universes in this, I'm not sure which one it is, but yeah, all these Haruki Murakami books has, has that touch of surreal, uh, surrealism, I guess that's what you call, I don't know, it is that kind of fantastical element to his normally normal contemporary book and his writing style is quite weird, so yeah, I'm excited to pick this up. But yeah. So the next prompt is I have a I have a little read. Okay, I'm very bad at uh, reading all these uh, prompts for you guys. So I'll link it down below anyway, so you guys can check that out and skip this 
horrible pronunciation of everything. So I have a little D R E I D E L. I have no idea what that means, but yeah. Read a book that involves a game. For this, I'm going to use my opportunity to read it, The Hunger Games by Susan Collins. I don't know how much, how many times I've read this book. I guess six times. I'm not sure. Six times, I guess. And anyways, in this year, I read it almost five times, and this is my sixth time. Yeah. Okay. I'm confused. I'm. Uh, anyways, but I can't stop rereading this book. It's such an amazing book, such an amazing trilogy, and such an amazing world and i just can't get over this book and i always need to reread this book i so i started annotating it but i never got around to like annotating it fully because i'm quite a bit lazy and taking out the supplies doing it it's a bit of a tedious task so i didn't get around doing it but this time around i will try to like annotate the whole thing because i really loved annotating it the first time although all my thoughts just writing down in this book was amazing so yeah and all my snipe comments which is like good so good and yeah i'll be rereading this book again and again and again till i die so yeah <laughs> so the next prompt is i'll be home for bookmas read a book in your favorite cozy spot at home so first i'll talk about this book and then i'll show you guys what my skip favorite cozy spot is it's just simple my couch but still i just show you to guys anyways the book i'm be going to read i'll be reading for this prompt is let it snow by john green maureen johnson and lawrence miracle miracle I don't know, miracle so this is a combination of three short stories and i just love this cover it's very simple but still those i can get those cozy Christmassy vibes from this and those snow snowflakes in different designs and yeah and also um, a Netflix series is coming out of this book in December I guess so I feel like it's a perfect time to read this book and again read you guys a book it's Christmas Eve and Greystone has been buried by snow but the weather is more than just an inconvenience when one girl unexpectedly steps off a stranded train she sets up a series of life-changing events Soon, 14 pumped up cheerleaders will descend on the local waffle house. The Duke's DVD night will be rudely interrupt interrupted for a twisted, mich twisted mission, and lovesick barrister will determine the fate of a single teacup pig. As the three stories collide, strangers co cross paths and romance blossoms with heartwarming consequences. So yeah, a very Christmas, uh, Christmas cozy vibes getting up from here. So yeah, I'll be reading this book. prompt is baby it's cold outside read a cozy book so i'll be again doubling it up with let us know by these three others because think you heard the blurb it's so cozy and it's so beautiful and i'm just too excited to read this book so the next prompt is all i want for bookmas is you read a romance or a book that involves friendship so i'm going to read a book that involves friendship as well as romance which is the second book in uh, snow bass series which is wayward sun by ray Moral. so i recently again i recently read carry on by ray Moral and loved it i give it a four stars just love the characters just love the story and it's a fan fiction of harry potter turned into a book like it was actually a fan fiction in uh, a book called fangirl and people like loved the fan fiction the excerpts of those fan fiction they got from fangirl and uh, ray Moral decided to Publish it as a book and we got this beautiful book i've not read fangirl yet but i read carry on loved it and when she told that she's going to come out with a sequel for it and it is it was coming out in like september now uh, october i'm not sure but i was so excited for it and i read it loved it and i'm going to read the second book which i own but right now it's with my friend i gave it for just a few days and she said that she'll give it back to me tomorrow and yeah i'm really excited to read that book and the next prompt is happy kwanzaa read a di diverse book diverse diverse era the, uh, so for that i'll be reading the hate to give by angie thomas so this book it's about black power and black power movement and yeah i've been hearing a lot of great things about this book very diverse book and i'm so excited to get into this book this has been booktube's baby because everyone has been loving it giving it amazing reviews and like five stars everyone giving it five stars and it was adapted to a movie also and everyone has been loving that movie too and it's been getting a lot of hype so again i'll read you guys the blurb 
16 year old star cutter moves between two worlds the poor black neighborhood where she lives and the fancy suburban prep school she attends the uneasy balance between these worlds is shattered when star witnesses the fatal shooting of her childhood best friend kaleen in the hands of a police officer kaleen was unarmed soon afterward kaleen's kaleen's death is a national headline some are calling him a thug maybe even a drug dealer and a gang banger Star's best friend at school suggests he may have had it coming. When it becomes clear that the police have little interest in investigating the incident, protesters take to the streets, and Star's neighborhood becomes a war zone. What everyone wants to know is what really went out that night, and the only person alive who can answer that is Star. But what Star does or does not say could destroy her community. It also it could also endanger her life. See so, ya. Yeah. such an impactful book and i'm so excited to read this um i'm really excited and also it has few pictures from the books it's an exclude uh, movie tie-in edition see so, yeah, i just show you guys yep it's beautiful i okay i guess this is kaleel yeah this is kaleel and star and I this guy yeah he is K J Appa right from uh, Riverdale I have seen the first season of it and loved it but so uh, still the second season did like it so I stopped it anyways yeah beautiful I will show you guys the whole thing so beautiful and i'm really excited to read this book so the next prompt is dance of the sugar plum fairies read a classic or a fantasy or even better try and read a cl- classic fantasy sorry so the book i'm going to read for the prompt is great gatsby by f scott fitzgerald it's been quite a while since i owned this classic and never got around to it cuz i feel like classics drain me out a lot cuz it's it takes me a lot while to understand what's happening and the writing style it's quite hard for me cuz my uh, even though i learn english it, mine is an english medium school i still am not so fluent with it you guys can see it like when i'm talking i i stammer at times i stutter and i pronounce things horribly so yeah you guys can understand um, english is not like very fluent uh, my language so yeah uh, and classics are quite hard to get into also even though they are amazing books they they represent amazing topics from that old a old ta- ancient times and yeah but still it gets me it takes me a lot of wa- a lot while to like get into these books and yeah but still i really want to get into classics and yeah so again i read you guys blur it's a roaring 20s and new york city is a place to be everything can be purchased everyone can be bought but can you make money erase your can you make money erase your past it's a roaring 20s and it is a time of overindulgence as far as the eyes can see and the mind can perceive there are ostentatious displays of wealth and even more lavish displays of decadence and apologetic decadence but does it ever stop it's a roaring 20s and the great american dream has been perverted it no longer stands for anything profound that resonates with people but does the idealism even attempt to stop the materialism as more and more people lose themselves to the lure of money ironically the only person who remains unaffected is jay gatsby the enigmatic host of the most extravagant parties in this definitive definitive take on american culture fitzgerald puts a ch- 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 chast chast dream against the corrupting influence of wealth and comes up with an epic story that can only be defined as a great american novel so yeah I've heard a lot of people talk about this book and really excited to read this book and also only few pages but still it will take me a long while to get into this book. So the next prompt is do you hear what I hear read an overhyped book again going to read the hate to give by Angie Thomas as I told you guys it's been hyped a lot in booktube and I'm really excited to read whether I fall into that hype I'm sure I'll fall into that hype cause amazing book I mean amazing story and concept and yeah so the next prompt is frosty the snowman no frosty the snowman read a book with magic again we were done 
and because magic harry potter fan fiction would expect magic and all so the next prompt is i wanna wish you a merry christmas Read the group book Chaos of Standing Still by Jessica Broody or any of her books. So I'll be reading Chaos of Standing Still and in my tab and the special guest is Jessica Broody and I'm so excited after reading the book to see the live show. It, it is on 21st I guess. I'm not sure. I'll link it down below. You guys can check it out and yeah, I'm so excited. And a bonus challenge, Goo King Venice Class. Ben Sislax. Okay, I'm butchering it but still. Give someone your favorite book or a book that person has been wanting. So one second, I'll take you guys that book. The person who I'm gifting this to is my one of my best friends, Lakshmi. She's in my she's in my school and we have been friends for almost four to five years. And she's been with me through all my hard times, harsh times, and she's such a good friend to me. And she's one of the biggest fans of Percy Jackson, the whole series. She has read the, except Charles of Apollo, the second, third, and all those books. She has read all the books. She's such a big fan of, such a big fan of it. And when I saw the this Percy Jackson book, I just couldn't resist. So the book is Percy Jackson, The Demigod Files by, of course, Rick Dryden, the biggest, famous author. And I've seen the first two movies, but didn't like it much. And she says that the book is much better than the movie. I really want to get into the books, but yeah, I still haven't. But yeah, this is the book I'm going to gift her, and I hope she loves it. And I'm so sure she loved it. So this is my Merry Book Bus Readathon, and I hope to read a lot. And I I just love this readathon idea, and I hope you guys also participate with me. And yeah, so see you guys in the next video. Bye.